Today I want to show you guys how to arrange your indie rock songs in FL Studio. In my last video I showed you guys how to build out this like 8 bar loop from scratch that has drums, chords, bass, basically a ton of elements that you need for a song. But now I want to take this 8 bar loop and make it into an entire song. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, I strongly suggest it. You can click the link in the description to watch that video before you watch this one. All right, so in the last video, I showed you guys how to make this pattern that basically sounds like this. And I wanna take this uh, basically pattern and make it into a full three-ish minute song and I want to show you guys the tips and tricks that I use to arrange my beats. So this is basically like the, the you know technique I use whenever I make beats. I make like pretty much everything into like a eight bar loop and then what I do is I kind of section it out. So let's move this over for now and let's start with the intro. So I typically make my intros about uh, eight bars long before getting into verse one. So I'm just hitting Alt T on my keyboard to make these um, kind of time signature like little uh, keywords here. For the intro, I basically like to strip a lot of the elements back. So I'm going to start with just these synth chords and see how this sounds on their own. The idea here is basically to make something that's very... Uh, I like my intros to be really minimal. So I'm gonna take you know these chords for the first four bars and then the second four bars I'm gonna add some other elements. Let's try adding this ambience. I'm thinking of maybe making like a drum fill so let's see what we can do here. And then we're gonna just add that right before the drums kick in. So it'll sound like this. I had these vocal chops that I wanted to use in the hook, so we're just gonna put those aside for now. For the verse, I typically like to do verses as, geez, how many bars is this? I guess 16 bars. And I like to basically divide it in eights. So we're gonna take this loop that I had and basically double it into the first half of the verse and the second half of the verse, which I'm gonna just label as the pre-hook for now. So the song structure is literally eight bars for the intro, eight bars for verse one, and then another eight bars for the pre-hook before we're going to lead into the actual hook, which is going to be eight bars long. I'm just gonna divide it up like this. So now I, that I have this song structure here, I can basically take away certain elements. Um, I don't know, let's take away like some of the melodies. Just leave like the basics for the beginning of the verse. Let's hear how this sounds. I like that because it has a lot of the melodies from the intro and then there's a contrast, you know, it just all of a sudden changes the mood and goes into the verse. And then for the pre-hook, I'm gonna add some more elements in. I'm choosing to add, I don't know, let's see how the guitar melody sounds with the ambience. I like it because it builds up to the hook, right? And then right before the hook, I want to basically drop the drums and add this fill again. So it'll sound like this. Super simple, but this is also like, I guess, kind of a tutorial on how to arrange simple beats, right? You don't always need to do all this crazy stuff to your beats if you can just make a little bit of changes here and there to keep it interesting. So after the hook, let's do verse two. Let's label these. We're gonna do verse two. Four bars are gonna go by and we're gonna have another pre-hook. And then after those four bars, it's going to be the hook again. So now that we have this labeled, uh, let's see what we can do to switch things up in verse 2. I'm going to keep that as is. I like verse 2 to be familiar to verse 1. 
But a technique that I always use in my beats is at the pre-hook, the second pre-hook before that second chorus, I like to switch it up and do something completely different. Um, and a technique that I often use sometimes is I like to add a filter onto the drums, kind of give it that underwater feel. Let's do that now, let's grab a uh, EQ. And we're just gonna basically create an automation here that's going to cut off the high ends of the track. So it'll sound like this. And then after, you know, those eight bars for the hook, I wanna figure out how to add a bridge. So for me, I keep the bridges pretty similar to the hook, but I'll remove some of the melodies. So it'll sound like this. And then after that last hook, I want to add just a either a four bar or an eight bar outro. Um, I'll probably add an eight bar outro, keeping that same, you know, eight, 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 eight. eight. That's really like the, uh, you know, technique I'm using. And for the outro, I want to kind of do something similar to the bridge where I'm going to remove some of those top line melodies. In this instance, I'm going to remove the vocal chops and uh, keep the guitar melody. And I'm just going to go to the mixer, go on the master here, and let's fade this out. Just at the end of the outro here. All right, so that's pretty much the techniques that I use to arrange my beats. You know, like I said, I always start by making like an eight bar kind of loop that has a lot of the elements in it. And I'll take that eight bar, put out the song structure and remove elements in certain areas, build it up in certain areas. But you know, these are the techniques that work for me. If this video helped you guys at all, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I think maybe by the time this video is out, I'll have 500 subscribers, which is amazing um, because, you know, I just kind of started focusing on this channel and uploading content uh, a couple months now, but no, I mean, your support on this channel, everyone has been so awesome and it's been awesome to connect with a lot of you guys on here. Um, I love making these videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.